PDP slams Adamu over eternity borrowing statement. The People's Democratic Party has knocked the national chairman of the All Progressive Congress, Abdullah Adamu, for saying the federal government can borrow from here to eternity. Welcome to the news. If you are new on this channel, kindly subscribe to my channel. If you have been there, welcome back and thank you for your support. The People's Democratic Party spokesman, Debo Ologun Agba, said it was irresponsible for the party leader to justify the loans, which he said was for consumption. The nation's eternal external debt currently stands at over 41.6 trillion and the president president Muhammadu Buhari has been criticized for borrowing to execute projects across the country some are in, against this borrowing because it is for infrastructure and the argument is that why are you building up infrastructure when the country is under security siege, why not use the money you are bringing in, the loans you are sourcing for, to fight insecurity headlong? The one everywhere is secure, then people can start talking of how to build infrastructure. But the current situation, the government still believe that putting up infrastructure will assist them to cope and fight insecurity. They believe the infrastructure will open up more ways for people to find jobs, for people to create jobs for themselves. But however, a country that is not secure, what will be the use of the infrastructures being put in place? Speaking on the program on Trust Television, Adamu had said countries like the United States and the United Kingdom borrow from international financial institutions to meet their needs. Adamu argued that like other countries, Nigeria could borrow for infrastructural development. He said, I remember a program we had here. I told you, and I thought you believe me, that I have no quarrel issues with government borrowing. Government can borrow from here to eternity. The American government borrows, the Canadian government borrows, the United Kingdom borrows, France borrows money from the World Bank and such other institutions. You also have to appreciate the fact of the level of revenue accruing to the government. Oil is the main thing. We want to see how best we can diversify. For how long? Seven years is enough for us to see your diversification, if not taken up immediately, but in process. Nobody is seeing that. I'm talking about diversification. Why will you as a government depend solely on a mono product as a source of revenue when there are other things that can be announced, that can be promoted to get more revenues for this country? These issues affecting the revenue accruing to the government are not our making. No matter how good we are, they happen. When some countries sneeze, we catch a cold. The Ukrainian crisis with Russia is having an impact on our economy, and even in bigger economies than our own. So why do we limit ourselves in our thinking? Adamu said some senators in the All Progressive Congress are supporting the impeachment bid against Buhari because they do not want ticket to contest in the 2023 polls. Logbaud faulted at the Mustang's insisting that the all progressive Congress led regime had misappropriated the loans it took from foreign lenders. The People's Democratic Party spokesman contended that past PDP administrations also borrowed but added that it was for a good cause, noting that they paid back. He stated, Nigerians knew when they were free of debt. They knew when the nation paid off its debts, and they knew the government that was borrowing. Borrowing responsibly and investing in people is good, 
But when you borrow and you convert it to personal use, their own is to borrow and steal. The People's Democratic Party borrowed and invested. Show us the investment though. The transformation in the airport was the project of the People's Democratic Party. I mean, it was completed. They will open up the economy. The privatization, privatization scheme opened up the economy, and Nigeria was almost the number one destination point for investors. So it is irresponsible, irresponsible, and we are not expecting anything more from the All Progressive Congress government other than this level of impunity and recklessness. It is completely irresponsible for the All Progressive Congress chairman to say they can borrow till eternity. Why would the chairman of the party say that, other than the fact they have complete, complete disregard for us, for knowledge and for capacity? Borrowing is a part of life, but you must borrow responsibly. Olog Mwagba noted that the ruling party has plunged Nigeria into a debt trap and further alleged that the Buhari regime ought to apologize to the citizens for its misadventure. He added, they all progressive Congress borrow for consumption, they borrow to pay for frivolous trips abroad and for irresponsible jacketing all over the world. Borrowing is meant to be for development, for infrastructural development. This is the most corrupt government ever in the history of this country. Everybody in the All Progressive Congress should be ashamed. They should be apologizing to the Nigerian people for lying, for defrauding us. The good thing is that hope is on the way. Nigerians can make a comparison. They know which government borrow responsibly and invested in human capital development, infrastructural development, and education. Because without education, no country grows. This is the sixth month of the Academic Staff Union of Universities strike, and the government has failed to address it. Well, on that as a strike, it has been noted that the agreement was signed in 2009 and this government did not come into power until 2015. So between 2009, 2010, 2011, 12, 13, 14, six years, what did the PDP, what did they do to make sure they address, even if it is in short term, some of the demands of the Academic Staff Union of Universities? Well, this is politics and the citizens must know what they are doing. Otherwise, these politicians can confuse everybody. At the end of the day, you place your card in the wrong place. What is your opinion about this? That PDP is challenging and are selling, telling PDP, APC chairman that eternal borrowing will not help this country. And they are not borrowing for anything other than for consumption. What is your own take on this? Kindly make your opinion known and comment as you subscribe to my channel. Thank you and be